just a normal day that all Chelsea fans are asking for. Just one normal day without toxicity, insult, injuries, sucking, and evil. Just one normal day as a Chelsea fan. That's all we are asking for. Guys, you know what is happening at Chelsea Football Club. The hospital is full right now. I just threw some names out there, but you can add even more because I want some engagement from you to tell me, oh, you forgot such, you forgot that. You know, strategy. It's YouTube, right? So I'm going to forget some names here on purpose so you can add because you can always find something in the Chelsea team. Injuries now, Kante out, Ben out, Rhys out, Wesley, Fufana out, Kepa, Risa Balaga out. And we have a long waiting list. The people who are just one knock away from missing out for three, three weeks, three months, two months or whatever. Just one tackle away from being out. It looks like we have a, a team made of biscuit. <sighs> because glass are even, you know, stronger and can resist. We are made of biscuit because we can get eaten like easily. It's soft. The entire team. I don't know what's going on. Kovacic. Always, oh, he got a knock. Uh, it was a... We took him by precaution. The next thing you know, he's out for three, four, five weeks. Ruben, we all know what happened to him, you know. And when you have those bad injuries, very big bad injuries, it always causes some chaos here and there, you know. Some niggles and some knocks here and there. Your knee or your Achilles, nothing is stable anymore. So it's just causing more and more trouble. Zakaria, we all know he had an ACL injuries like three years ago. And I tell you that he's been having uh, a lot of injuries. Small one. Yeah, call it small, but two weeks out, three weeks, four weeks. I think yesterday I made a video and showing you his injury record. So this guy also is a problem. ZH, we all know. <laughs> Under Frank Lampard, first, uh, first season when he joined Chelsea Football Club. We know what happened. Under Thomas Suko, you know injuries injuries i can even put pulisic there but pulisic been injury free for more than a year but in our mind it's gonna remain as he's injury prone and he's one tackle away from getting injury but i'm trying just to make a point here that we don't know what is what is happening why always us why are we cursed to this level ah, my goodness i don't know what to do man so listen, people, we have to act. In January, we have to act. But you all know that I'm not somebody who will just go out there and spend money for the sake of it because we have it and because it's a feel-good factor. And you go to uh, out there in January and you spend a lot of money on, like, let's say, wing bucks. Okay, you buy the right and the left one. Well, when Rhys James and Ben Shewell are back and you stuck with the salary, those, those people are the people who are in very, very high salary, okay? Uh, let's say uh, Ben Shewell, 150K a week. Rhys James, almost 250 a week. And then you buy whatever people are going to suggest. Go get a Hakimi, go get such and such. You pay them 200k uh, a week, and your bill, way uh, your wage bill is so high, and you don't even know what to do when everybody is fit. So we have to troubleshoot before going out there and spending money for the sake of it, because it makes us looks good, and uh, it's a feel good factor. So for me, I will assess what we got already. And then we can, we, can, we can prepare for summer 
because in January everybody knows how expensive players are. So potential replacement. You can recall Jan Madsen, you know, from the championship. Juan Castillo actually still in the academy, but he's old now. He's like 21 or 22 years old. But, you know, years ago, he was one of uh, the brightest kids from the academy. I don't know if we can use him. Uh, from the academy, we have Lewis Hall. Remember last season, he was playing as a, as a left back slash full back. And this year, he's been changed position. He's playing more in the midfield. But the kid is very good from that position here. He's still a kid, like 18 years old. But listen... The young, the elite, and all the big names, they started at a very young age. Age is just a number. And uh, this is, has nothing to do with like wing backs or whatever. I am thinking that in January, Chelsea should recall certain players. You know, this is in general. Nothing to do with injuries, but Levi Cowell is not having playing time now at, uh, at Brighton because somebody who wanted him just left the team. Uh, Ethan Ampadu also haven't uh, we haven't really heard more about him so if they come to Chelsea I think they can have more playing time under a manager who is ready to develop players you know who who care about development and they can be developed better Ethan Ampadu from the midfield and also from the center back position we know that we are like one injury away from a big crisis in the defense Thiago Silva is 120 years old he is like very tired at the moment and if he got an injury it's going to be a disaster um, Koulibaly just came back from an injury we, we, we have we have so many players just like one injury away from uh, or one tackle away from a bad injury so we need to think about what we do in January. Let me know what do you think about our January transfer window. Should we like focus on buying or, or focus on coaching and improving what we got while we are waiting for summer to make the final decision? Uh, last season, when we were suffering in the same positions, we, we wanted to recall Emerson Palmieri and it didn't work out and then we went for Kennedy from Brazil and we know that he came back just to, to sit on the bench and collect his his paycheck and people suggested that we go for uh, Lucas Dean we go for uh, <clears throat> for Hernandez and we, we go for big names but if, if you go for those big, expensive names, and like I said, when Chilwell is back or when um, Reese is, Gem uh, is James, Reese is back, Reese James is back, and then what are you going to do with the players that you bought and you pay crazy amount of money? <sighs> man so as you can tell here the club statement you can read yourself because it's just it's just so painful for me so all the good wishes here from people it's unfortunate for somebody like ben shewell acl injury and then another very very bad uh hamstring tear he's gonna he's gonna miss the world cup and uh yeah man ben get well soon my brother yeah, all good wishes from people all, or, all over the world now. There is nothing you can do about it. Nothing to say. Ah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to make about it. Uh, the game on Sunday is going to be even tougher. Because it's also mental. You know, somebody like... Uh, uh, let's say Manson Mount. He, he's not good. You can see it affect the entire team when your colleague is suffering. So now it's time for this guy to wake up. Uh, Marco Correa. He's not good. That good defensively. He need to improve. But we have no choice at the moment. 
<sighs> my goodness me it is what it is man it is what it is